state of faith, there are times that uh, we want God to do something in our life and we partake in prayers, but we never go to an extent of testing God with seeds of faith. When you sow, you should expect to reap. So when you sow your seed of faith, expecting to reap, you will definitely reap. Sometimes you will definitely reap a harvest that is greater than what you have sown. Like I said earlier, I only sow for the seed faith for a job with $50, but from that I received a job and also a training opportunity, something that I, I have been having a desire for to, to study further. And I'm encouraging you people of God, never underestimate the, 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 the seed faith, the, the faith for seeding, never underestimate uh, uh, sowing seeds and um, it shall be well with you. Uh, the next uh, testimony, um, three weeks back I had been having period pains and I was in bed the whole day. I took painkiller but it was worse. I called pastor, he prayed for me. A few hours later I remember the pain was totally gone and I want to glorify the name of the Lord for healing me. And the other testimony, I am from a place in my country where it's an epicenter for the COVID-19 and upon joining for work, I was subjected to a mandatory, uh, mandatory testing and I called for prayers because I wasn't sure. So I prayed for, I called for prayer and pastor said I should not fear, I should not worry whether perhaps the test come back positive or not, if they come back positive, I should not fear because God is still able to heal. So he prayed for me for everything to go well and the test result came out negative. I really thank God for what he has done. He's been doing great things and uh, never, uh, never give up with prayers. People of God never give up on prayers participate in the prayer on the WhatsApp group, on, on Facebook Messenger, wherever there is prayer that Pastor is Pastor Robert is is, uh, is giving, you should not uh, undermine